Hey guys, it's just another random gamer here, and today we are going to be talking about Halo 4. And oh boy, years later, and I still remember the road to this game's release. How hyped I was, and I also remember the actual release. How disappointed I was. Why was I so disappointed in this game when it came out? Why do I think it's so fucking awful? Well, let's take a seat while I explain it in detail in this video. Section 1 The Hype. Before we begin, let me tell you just how hyped I was. Just so you guys know, Halo Reach is my favorite game, bar none. So you can imagine just how hyped I was for Halo 4's release since it was the next Halo game to be released after Reach. I'm not exaggerating when I say I was almost sure that Halo 4 would completely blow Reach out of the water, so saying that I was hyped would be putting it lightly. And when I finally got the game on Christmas of 2012, I was disappointed all the way around. It was a downgrade from Reach in almost every way. The story was shitty, to put it lightly. The multiplayer was crap, and who in God's name thought it'd be a good idea to replace Firefight, one of the best video game board modes out there, with freaking Spartan Ops. Section 2 The Story I really don't understand the people that say that Halo 4 has a good story. I really don't. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad they enjoyed it more than I did, I just don't understand why they like it so much. Halo 4's story makes no sense. There's so many important questions I asked over the course of Halo 4's story that never got answered, such as, who exactly is the didact? Why does they hate humanity so much and wants to destroy it? Why are the Covenant present other than the fact that the player needs something to shoot at? Where the hell are Master Chief and Cortana at during Cortana's death sequence? How does Cortana get the Chief off the didact ship when it explodes? And there's so many more important questions that have remained unanswered, and that right there is pretty much the sole reason Halo 4's story failed. Section 3 The Gameplay Okay, if the story sucks, then the least you expect is fun gameplay. That's how a lot of games are these days. Shitty story, fun gameplay. Well, that is not the case with Halo 4. The enemy's melee attack speed is literally less than a second and is a one-hit kill on the higher difficulties, making close range and melee attacks completely unviable. Also, the weapon ammo capacity is so small you are very likely going to run out of ammo a minute or two after you picked it up. Ammo capacities are in games for a reason, I know, but running out of ammo a mere minute or two is just ridiculous. Also, while we're on the topic of weapons, let me just say that the storm rifle, suppressor, and pulse grenade, yeah, totally butt fucking useless. The enemy design is also a little screwed up. I'll give you a really good example. The Promethean Knights are overpowered. They have no weaknesses, they deal a lot of damage, they have shields, they have a lot of health, and they can teleport. It takes like three minutes to kill a single knight. And through the course of the game, you have to fight knights in groups of three or more. This is made even worse by the Promethean Watchers, because they can shield the knight, capture and throw grenades back, and even bring them back from the dead. This is enemy design 101, people. Give them weaknesses that the player can exploit in order to defeat them. Also, all the levels are just a small linear path which gives the player limited strategies when fighting, which makes the game just plain boring to play through all around. Section 4 The Multiplayer Halo 4 threw the strategy involved in the past Halo's multiplayer right out of the window in favor of, well, actually in favor of nothing. They just threw the strategy right out the window. That's it. For starters, players can now create their own loadouts, much like Call of Duty, and one of the types of weapons you can start with are precision weapons such as battle rifles and carbines. But those weapons are so powerful, and players can now just spawn with them instead of just finding them on the maps like in the older games, and it just completely breaks the balance of the game. Speaking of which, weapon spawns on the maps are no longer in fixed locations like the older games. In Halo 4, weapon spawns are now random. In the previous games, learning where certain weapons are on the map is a part of the learning curve. Now that's all been completely thrown out. Section 5 <sighs> Spartan Ops Well, I'm not gonna lie. There's nothing much to say about Spartan Ops considering just how bland and unfun it is. Remember Halo Reach Firefight? Just how fun it was with the arcadey feel, the dozen game modes, and the ability to customize the game options nearly limitlessly? 
Well, it all got thrown out for Spartan Ops, which is pretty much just a play of running around the map completing mindless objectives. That's all it is. Considering you don't get bored before completing all of the missions, you will have no reason to want to replay it. It is just that boring. And that is why I think Halo 4 is so goddamn awful. This video is actually painful to make because I don't like to think about Halo 4 so much, I was so disappointed. But I managed to pull through and make this video for you. See you guys in the next video.